smack. Third check. Three dudes on a couch, not gay if it's in a three-way. Isn't it with a honey in the middle and some leeway? Except there's no leeway. Forrest takes up the whole middle of the couch. <laughs> also, look at how he's sitting That's right now, true. trying to sleep. Oh, God, I remember this. Do you see Forrest has become the dead body zombie form of himself? He keeps rah, throwing his neck around. And if you strike me down, I'll only become fatter. <laughs> the complete opposite of a Saiyan. Uh, I don't gain power. If you strike me down, I'll only fail every so this dude illusion. will give you two orbs if you complete this challenge. But this challenge, is, I'll, I'll show you. This is one of the worst fucking things ever. Mm -hmm. So here's this one. This one's actually not that hard. Oh, this hockey. is the first. This is the, yeah, but the ice skating in this is... Oh, it's terrible. almost like a dragon with four legs and claws isn't supposed to slide on ice. Yeah, but you, you cannot stop moving. Pop. This part's easy. The second part sucks. Oh, okay, we're going. I don't even have a fucking chance to, like, understand where I'm at. Oh, my phone! I'm sorry. No, Not your phone. What are phone. you apologizing to? Who are you apologizing to? Your phone? The, the fans, because that was a loud bang. No, it wasn't. There's been much worse. Uh, sessions. Playing with my chin. <laughs> Stop playing with your chin. Oh, that's going to go on your side. I don't think the goalie can score goals on me. How many did I need? Five. Why is he so angry? Uh, I just, oh, you, you, why are you so mad? It, it's only game. Why you have to, to be mad? mad. It's, it's only, only game. game. But uh, I think Forrest is out of commission, guys. This is the Alright, it was just five. Oh, yes. I don't know. <laughs> don't you fucking touch my face! <laughs> I'm like here! Probably. I draw the line and I touch he my had, face! He had his mouth open, I was gonna stick a hot fry. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, I'm going home. <coughs> I don't know this shit. What do I look like you some snake game? So this one, now they can score goals on me. I have a goalkeeper, and there's another player. Be him, Robbie. Yeah, it sucks. This it's really is really slow, though. Boost. <laughs> you fucker. Wow, that's roughing. Oh my god, I can't even... Wait, wait, just let it go. It's gonna go in on its own. Oh my god, it almost went on its own. See, but now he's gonna come at me and try and take the puck from me. <laughs> yeah, it's not going in. It's just, it's... He follows you, Robbie. It's, so, like, you gotta be a distance away and then go to the other side. Because I think he tries to block you and not the puck. Yeah, see? Like, he sticks to you a bit, and then he goes to the puck when he gets within a certain range of him. That's a strat. Oh. That's a strat. I don't know. This I remember this being a lot easier whenever I was a kid, but now that it's like on the sucks. Oh, I can knock him down too with my fire breath. I didn't know that. Bop. Fucking touch my fucking mouth. <laughs> yeah. You better pick that up. I'm oh, gonna my pick that up. Shit. My house! You just swatted a fucking fly! Right there! Keep <laughs> getting Grab it! Grab I, it! You already had it in your mouth! I didn't pick it up shit. Grab it! You already had it in your mouth! Touch me with the fries. I didn't touch you! you the fry touch touched you! You shoved your thing in my mouth! Oh, you like God. it. I almost gagged on it. I beat it! it. I didn't I, even make it past I, your teeth! It's so I hot. I did it. You, you proud? So, I am proud super proud. I give a fuck. You can, <laughs> you, can, you can go down there and train with them if you want, but I... Really hate that. Robbie, tell Mike to quit touching his thing and trying to stick it in my face. Mike, got er, Forrest, I was trying to move your mouth as as if I was talking at you. So How dare? How dare? Just, that's it. It's just. Going to throw this away? Yeah, cause it's been in your mouth. Nobody wants your fucking nasty mouth germs. Should I block him from getting back on the couch? No. Fucking try me. I'll crack those nuts so fast. Well, I I, you know what I have? I don't think I 
relinquishly long legs. You know what that means? I can kick you from the other side of the couch. I don't think I'm going to try to block you with my balls, but all right. I will crack you in the nuts. That's what I'm saying, you know? You're at a disadvantage here. This ram is a bitch. Kill him, Robbie. He's already dead. I know. Open your eyes. My eyes are open. How open? So open, bro. Like they're more open. My third eye has opened. <laughs> the one that's open when my other eyes are closed. All right. The only problem with this is you have uh -huh. to fucking run across the map a you lot can of do times. It. It's easy. Look, you're doing it right now. Hey, that's that TT that yeah, crushed that guy. Hang on. There's a. There's a. There's another thing. I think it's in here. Some dude got crushed by a TT. Oh, there it is. Pew. So. There's another uh, mini game here that I really like. Growing up as a as a children, child's. Yes, as a is a in child's. The only reason I say that is because I watched uh, the cartoon Black Dynamite as a kid, and he's like, "I was never a children." <laughs> dynamite, dynamite. Yeah. I feel like a child would make a baseball bat. I'm sorry. You just tie their little legs onto the stick. They just pick them up, and then you've got like a screaming flail oh, there. that like hits things and then cries. Right. And you Let hit it, it be noted to all the fans, Forrest will use a child as a baseball bat, but this he won't dude. use the child as a baseball bat. So this demon looked a bit different. He'll attach the child to a baseball bat and then swing with it. So I gotta find ten. Yeah, so why are there demons in this game now too? Is it just did they just steal from everything and just be like Spiral Abs? So he does that and you just gotta fucking put a little put a little stank on it. Oh. It looks more like you're burning the stank off. Yeah man. And these statues are goddamn. Or are you saying that Spyro's like way of marking his territory is by spraying from his mouth? Yeah man, put Is a that where his spray glands are? Putting you answer that question. Well, so I didn't you, ask you that question. Here, here's the here's the question. And yeah, do, I want to answer. How do dragons breathe fire? Um, Methane in their throat. That's what the one lane. Yeah, that we like said. a crocodile. You know, they have a freaking gland in the back of their throat that separates their lungs from their fire organ. It would be probably their fire organ. Well, it would have to be some sort of organ that generates fire, right? I want a fucking fire organ. I'm um, sorry, you were born human? <laughs> Damn it. Wouldn't that be cool, though, just to be able to, to like, fucking... Yeah, he's one in the corner, you missed. Yeah, I see. Uh, yeah. Um, to be able to, like, breathe... Oh, ooh. That was rifty. Fuck. That came from inside. That excuse that you. came from the deep. Rolling that was me it. channeling my Cthulhu energy, just like... Oh, I really, oh, I really. <laughs> can I... Anyway. Can I have those things? Spaghetti here. monster, but like that you did the pastafarians. That's what pasta the monsters. that's what the it's space the pasta is called. But uh, uh, I mean, I guess it would be cool if you could breathe fire. But at the same time, like, would you just want to be able to breathe fire? Like, here comes the thing, though, Rob. That it always comes back to. Like, if you could pick one superpower, what would it be? Oh my God, I don't know. I, that's a tough question. Only one. I know, because that's always the limitation. You know, one. I mean, you could always take, like, the Charlotte route and be that dickhead that says, oh, I want the power to be able to control people for, like, ever." Did you ever watch Charlotte, by the way? Anime. No. Okay, major spoilers so. for Charlotte coming up. If you haven't watched Charlotte and you think you're going to watch Charlotte, don't listen to what I'm about to say. Okay. Not that you'd be watching this video anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but, Correct. Uh, a freaking Charlotte, um, the, the kid has the ability of what he thinks his ability is to be able to take people's bodies over for, like, a few <laughs> seconds, right? So if he locks eye contact with them, or he, I, I think he just activates it and you see, hey, he can see them, he can take over their body for a little bit and then go back to his body. But his body just kind of, go, like, goes to sleep or, like, passes out until he goes back to it, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what he thinks his power is, but then by the end of the series he realizes that that's not what his power is. His power is to take over other people's bodies, but then when he transfers back to his bodies, if they have a power of their own, he steals it, and it becomes his. Because the idea of Charlotte is, is that this meteorite, known as Charlotte's near Earth, right? And it showers the Earth in its weird freaking dust that comes off of it, okay. and that starts causing genetic mutations in children and teenagers. Oh, he's passed out. He's, he's sleeping slumped. on you right now. He is your buddy. 
But uh, the genetic mutations that happen in kids give them, like, you know, superpowers, like flight or being yeah. able to freaking teleport, stuff like that. And his power that he got is the power to balance it out, is to steal all the other powers from everyone else that, it, that got that deep breath. His power is to be able to steal all the other powers from people. Yeah. Which, as you can guess, near the end, he realizes his goal in life and his mission is to actually take steal everyone powers. else's powers. And then when you turn, like, 16 or 17, you lose your power. Aww. You grow out of it. It's only a temporary thing. So the idea is, is that he has to steal the powers of everyone else from the entire rest of the world, so that way when he turns 17, all the power in the world is gone and no one can abuse it. Yeah. But it has a side effect of him switching bodies and taking everyone's powers, and it fucks with his brain and basically fries it, and he forgets who he is and forgets what he's doing or anything like that. All he knows is, like, my mission is to do this and I'm just going to keep doing it. But he picks up some pretty sweet powers along the way. So I think if I had to pick a power... Yeah, pick a power. I would want the power to nullify powers. Oh, so you're going the fucking Tomo route here. You talking from... Uh, index. Certain magical index. His right yeah. hand is called Imagine Breaker. It can kill anything that isn't normal. But it also cancels out all of his luck. Because it's a nullifying power, Robbie. I was the... What did you just say? I'm dying. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm dying. Is exactly what he said. I'm dying. So hot. Are you saying you don't want the ability to just like like what did you think of nullify wise? Um, like from problem children. Oh. His power isn't really nullification though. I thought it was. No. I thought that's what it ended up being. No. Remember, he's an uncategorized. No one knows what his power is or what he can do. I wanna be Oh, that's an anime that needs to continue, dude. Or I need to find the manga for that. Not like, happening. So I bad. already looked it up. I don't know, I didn't look up the manga, but I, I looked up the, the Yeah. Anime. Either the manga or the freaking Now I don't wanna look up well, the manga. You wouldn't find it because it only was ten episodes long, but that was such a freaking good show, like oh, holy yeah. shit. There's random orbs like that that I just found scattered across the world. It wasn't really random, I mean it was you need to get diving to be able to come here and then this is your reward for diving here. Yeah. And now we're in the castle. Well, one of the castles. There's like three or four castles. Did you ever wonder why people have just a bunch of pots sitting around their castle? They're vases, man. You don't... You, just because you don't decorate... Go look around my house and see how many vases and shit I just have Just because you Dude, don't Dude, I don't decorate. even decorate my house with pictures of anime girls, okay? I don't even want to hear it. Uh, I think the top of your desk tells me otherwise. <laughs> All I see is A2 and 2B. And Forrest gave me those. Uh, I didn't buy them. Oh, where are the other ones? I don't know. Oh, in the bedroom, yeah. On the shelf. Okay. But still. <laughs> I don't decorate my house with them, though, you know? Like, they're just kind of there. I can make you game camera active. Well, game camera means if I turn this way, the camera will turn with me. Oh. I like to control it myself. Look, there she is. You yeah. should go up to her and whisper in her ear. Mm. Three, four. <laughs> <laughs> he should get... Yeah, if I'm close enough to a gem, he'll go and pick it up for me. But it's just like... So, so your power you wanted to nullify, huh? Kind of. It's kind of dumb, though, because then you're just nullifying other people's power. That you know? was more just for protection. What yeah. I'm also thinking is... But do you really want that as your power? Because then, like, you're useless other than the fact that unless someone with power attacks you. Yeah, but then everybody would want to party up with me. Not really. For guaranteed protection? It's not 100% guaranteed. I mean, you, it depends on how your nullifying works. Like, do you just nullify anything within a certain range of you? Do you think nullify of it anything like, that touches um, you? What's his name? Boku no Hero Academia. Academia. What's uh, his name? Academia. <laughs> Ac Is it Akizawa? Eraserhead? Oh, Eraserhead? Yeah. Yeah. His only works, though, as long as his eyes are open. Yeah. And he can't do that forever. See, because there's always a balancing issue. I mean, unless you're Robbie being the DM, in which case you let your little brother somehow control the water and put it inside of the lungs of an alligator and drown it. 
No, I didn't let that happen. He almost tried. I fought hard for that not to happen. I can just remember that entire campaign, 90% of it was me sitting here with my freaking hands, just my head in my hands going, what the fuck is going on right now? I wanted, so, for context, I guess, I we were playing Dungeons & Dragons, and I wanted... Um, I mean, it was an ambitious idea, and it sounded good. But I gave everybody the ability to control one element. Or, or two, two elements, elements and uh, health, depending yeah. on how they started. And I wanted science in it. I wanted it to be super scientific. So, like, you used fire to heat up and melt the metal door. But at the or, same time, I think that how, how scientific and your ability to create new powers using your element should have been based off your intelligence stat. Because just because you're smart in real life doesn't mean your fucking character is that smart in game. <laughs> True, I guess I didn't think of yeah. that. Because I had, like, the highest fucking intelligence stat, but I wasn't there trying to steal the fucking, like... And meanwhile, your brother, who's literally trying to argue about drowning a crocodile, has, like, one intelligence on his fucking character. His character literally walks into town and goes, Me, barbarian! Me, smash! So did he really only have one intelligence? Yes! Huh. And I almost died to a bear on the first fucking encounter. Just because you play a weak ass character, he wasn't weak. It's you, just for some odd reason when I'm surrounded by tanks, instead of attacking any of the tanks, you were like, and the bear attacks you for hitting him in the face with a fireball. You and attacked like, him first, but there was everyone else around, and they were closer to him than I was. I play on aggression, not that way. Don't go that way. Fuck. If that would, if I would have known that, I wouldn't have kited him. I would have fucking buffed instead. Then I would have been like, "Well, fuck that." That's how I usually DM is uh, whoever hits first. I don't know. I just, I it would have been a good campaign, but I, I noticed very quickly after the first session, I was like, "There's too many of us. There are way too many of us for this." Yeah, I think I had like eight or nine people in there. Way too fucking many of us for this to work out. And I love. To get another thing going, just like the three of us or something. Hey, I'd be pretty fun. As long as it doesn't fucking, you know, involve, like, me having to, like, sit there and contemplate to myself and work behind game sessions to be like, alright, who's on my side? We're killing all the fucking rogues. We had four rogues in our party. You realize that, right? It wasn't four. It was, like, it was, two. We had two rogues, but there were four fucking people who were acting like chaotic fucking evil. And I was like, uh-uh. Yeah. Nuh-uh. This is not happening. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You need at least one rogue, I've learned. Well, it's good to have one rogue, but then your rogue has to try to at least align with the rest of the party. They can't just fucking be like, I'm gonna steal everything from everybody all the fucking time. Uh, they can. They can, but, like, our fucking half of our party didn't want to negotiate with anything. Oh, he's already on the button. Yeah, a couple people really made me mad. Like, the one rogue, I won't mention names, that uh, decided to steal from the guards and then ended up losing money. And he's like, well, can I try and steal it back? I was like, no. <laughs> yes, yes, steal it back for a hug. I don't know. I was more like I w the whole campaign. I was just kind of like, "Wow, this campaign is a little bit fucked up." And then it got to the point where they were trying to drown crocodiles, and I was like, "I'm done. I am fucking done with this campaign. This is the stupidest shit I've ever heard." I'm like, next thing I know, like Robbie's gonna have this fucking half an hour argument about why you can't drown a fucking crocodile, and then it'll finally get back to my turn, and I'm just gonna cast the biggest lightning spell I can and electrocute all of us, and we're dead. I don't fucking care anymore. I'm gonna use every fucking ability I have to boost the damage on this fucking spell, and we're all dead. <laughs> Ooh. It's the only way. <laughs> the only way, Robbie. The only saving grace I felt we had in that was the one dude that actually, like, got into character. Oh, yes. Yes. He was fucking awesome. He made the campaign. It was freaking good. I mean, I, I was forced into character. You made me act like a snotty fucking elf every now and then. And I called people idiots. But it was nice, because then I had permission to call people idiots when I actually <laughs> thought they were being stupid. 
Well, that's what... Like, if you... Playing D&D is fun, but, like, you need to get into character. If you're not getting into character, it's not as fun for everybody else. Well, I made my character to be as much like me normally as I could be, so I didn't have to fucking act. He, my character was me. <laughs> See, but isn't it fun to get it, like, create something? Yes, uh, it would have been great, because, like, if I actually got into my character, though, I probably would have just told you in the middle of one of those turns that lasted for freaking 45 minutes, I would have just said, I attack my own teammates. Uh, I, I've learned a lot. I'm not doing the turtle thing. I'm I'm just going to finish the missions and be done with it. I learned a lot about DM because I've been playing a lot of sessions. Yeah. Oh, I can't say what I was about to say. Just in case. But um, since I've been playing a lot of sessions, I'm learning a lot about DMing, and I think I got it down. I think, I'm in, I think if I try to DM another thing, I think I'm going to be good at it. And I'd want to use a different application than the one that we used. Because we used uh, D&D Beyond. Yeah. And it was cool and all. You had to pay, I think I only paid like five bucks a month, which wasn't, it's not bad at all, for the unlimited character creation and to be able to actually put in like your encounters and shit. But Roll20, you can make the map, you can show the map to everybody, like what I was trying to do with Discord and uh, fucking Word. Like, it's so much easier to do in Roll20. So, if we do end up doing it again, I think we're going to try Roll20. So, there's one thing I do not do in these games, and that's the speedways. Because they're, they're bullshit. You have to do it perfect, or you fail. Oh, no fuck-ups. Nope, and it's a flying level, and the flying controls oh. are inverted... And you're talking. Oh my god. Forrest complains about me every time, like, complains to me every time I say that in a game. When I'm doing something, I'm like, oh god, it's fucking inverted. Yep. He's like, well, what's wrong with inverted? I said, I don't hate it when I understand why it's inverted. Like, if I play Battlefield or something and I jump in a plane, I get that that's gonna be inverted. Yeah. Up is down, down is up. Because that's how a plane works. Yeah. And which way you tilt your fucking nose, your plane does other shit. How did, when did I take damage? That's a great question. You're green now. You were always yellow before. Yeah, yellow is the full HP. This is... Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, you're good. Just, uh, just, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. It's just freaking, the inverting is fucking just, oh, a okay. pain. Yeah. So this game literally is just like run around, collect gems, blow stuff up. Yeah, it's a collectathon. It's it's a it's a old collectathon. Oh, he's gonna fuck me up. Oh yes, I just watched you get destroyed so bad. Well, because I moved. If I would have tried to smash through both of them, the big guy would have crushed me. Why are you blue now? That's the next up from green. Oh, you took a lot of damage. Point, I guess. I don't remember it, but I guess. I don't think I recall watching you take damage either. So. I should go back to yellow. Oh, so eating other animals' pets is what killed you. Yeah, those butterflies. That's what it, the penguins were dropping the butterflies. If you eat the but, if you I, let I'm done your with my lore then of that that they're traveling like you are. No, it's just that's how you get health back. Yeah. Why I've done this? I thought I had I had some weird cryptic spiral lore. Also, can we talk about the big baby in the middle of the fucking couch right now? He is conked out. Fucking slumped, man. Fucking, you can't even move. You're done, dude. Oh! Ah, my neck! My back! <laughs> <laughs> we breathed life into him! <laughs> I'm sweating so hard. <laughs> oh. Popping Molly's over here. Oh, my neck. God damn. Oh, you let me sleep with my neck bent completely down. You were sleeping on Robbie. It was what too am, cute. Oh, what am I going to do, you, baby? <laughs> what am I going to do? Tell you to fucking don't sleep? Yes. Yeah, don't sleep on me for us. Oh, Fuck off. Yeah, I'm tired. Oh, you bastard. What episode is this? Two. Still two. Fuck. I mean, it's almost over. I should go just start my way over, actually. Oh, now, shit. Make my way downtown. Hey, Force is back, guys. I want some meals from my home. Oh, so we never said how many episodes we were going to record. We're just we're just hanging out, Forrest. 
That's all it says. Sitting around with. Oh, we have six friends. minutes to go. Man, Forrest, you have plenty of time to wake up. Nobody can give me a happy end. Doodle 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 Take a whiff. We'll wake you up. Stop touching me with shit. I don't want the fucking sauce. Just nice smell. Close the mm. sauce. Forrest doesn't use Reddit. He doesn't want the yeah, sauce. Yeah, he doesn't want the sauce. Fucking sauce. Six digits. Ask oh, him. Get Billy individual rib cracking. Oh, yeah. Of course, you can lay on the floor, you know, if you're that tired. Oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. fuck. I forgot. It's fucked up. This one sucks. What is it? Alright, so there's Show these me. little power orbs, and these fuckers steal them. So whenever I put them in, they're attracted to them, and they'll just come steal them. So do you just get all the power orbs first? You, uh, kind of. You gotta kill them and get the power orbs. And if it doesn't work whenever all the power orbs are in, that means one of them fuckers stole one. So fucking power orb, Mike. You just gonna let him get away with that? No. You gonna let him get you away with stealing the power orbs? Orb? Steal them power orbs, bro. I'll tell you right now, somebody went and stole my fucking power orbs. I'd kill him. I'd fucking shred Not saying I did kill him. I should just want to show you the exact way I know I would kill him. <laughs> okay, show me the exact way you killed him. First show me on this anatomically glove. correct doll. Okay, a glove. A glove that definitely isn't the glove I used in the murder. Okay. And it fits my hand like a glass slipper in Cinderella, motherfucker. And that shit. A glove that doesn't, doesn't fit your hand like a glove. A glove that fits your hand like a slipper. Okay, I see how this it's is right. going. It's tight. Is it? Just tight like a toy. Like Cinderella. Just, just lock Cinderella. Go, that girl was fucking fancy at that ball. Did you see that shit? No. Oh I didn't. god. Ugh. I fairy, never watched fairy Cinderella. Fairy Godmother did, like, Fairy Godmother spent the cash, man. That was all brand name She did shit. it, though. She just used magic. She's like, bibbity bobbity motherfucking smooth. Alright, yeah, I, I kind of like the active shit, camera. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Come at me, bitch! Yeah. Are we talking about gameplay? Is that Randall from Monsters, Inc.? Yes. Pick up the fucking power or... God damn. Robbie, pick up the fucking power or... Don't you even... Robbie, pick up the fucking power or... Come at me, bitch! Why are you skipping power orbs? These fuckers ain't got shit on Sparrow. Ooh, get fucked. Seven. Eight. Oh my god, that's a great joke I just saw. So I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm over here. Just wait until the episode ends, because I already sat down over here. So I, I'm not joining Robbie in his commentary and actively. But I saw a funny joke, Robbie. Funny? What is it? People that didn't have 2020 vision in 2019, and it says, "Why do your eyes look so sad?" Because it's from Steins Gate, and then it showed the doctor crying, and it says, "Person that had 2020 vision in 2019, you don't want to know what happens next year." Oh. <laughs> Uh, oh, can we help Robbie? Let's say. I actually never watched Steins Gate. Did I what? Do I what for it? It's pretty good. Do you want to make out? No, playing the game. Maybe later. Fucking cocking me. Fucking <laughs> what? <laughs> Sitting over there with those sweet ass looking lips. Of course. Of course, go home. Succulent lips. Need go home. Kissing. You're drunk. I'm not drunk. Those fucking. You're drunk. I don't think Forrest. I don't. I don't know if Forrest could make it home. No, I'm drunk on love. I miss it. Too bad I don't get it. Thank you, Spyro. I found it. Guys, I was taking a hit off my vape. Don't make me laugh. I'm caught. Robbie. Thank you, Spyro. When she says she's. Oh God. If she gives you a gem, she's a thought. All right. So. Yes. You guys know the one... Yeah. I didn't kill 18 enemies yet? You guys know the one meme sure. that it's an anime girl and she has her her coochie over top of the entire bicycle, right? Yeah. So Alexa showed me one the other day. Oh, good God. And it was an, over an entire skyscraper. <laughs> I was concerned, a little disgusted, <laughs> slightly aroused... <laughs> 
I was very aroused. Were you? What were we talking about, Forrest? Uh, I went home and I got something to eat. <laughs> Kabuchi. <laughs> Mama. I love the. I, I still have the meme saved on my phone of uh, the Coochie flavored Lay's potato chips. Oh my <laughs> God. I fucking love it. <laughs> Tastes like yummy. You know, something really sad, Robbie, with all this fucking extra time between, like, you know, f like I've been getting at work because they think it's finals week and shit like that, so I have nothing I can really work on when I'm there. <laughs> that I haven't picked up any extra anime to watch. I have all this fucking time, but I haven't been. I think I'm just so burned out with the fact that the seasonal stuff is so freaking delayed and broken that I just can't get myself back in the groove. I was gonna say, you haven't been watching anime recently. I've been watching seasons, what I've been watching for the season, but I haven't, like, picked up more. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I should be fucking picking up more, because... Come on, man, I, I, got, I got stuff to watch. I got stuff to watch. If you want, I pay for Crunchyroll, so you can get you can hop in on that sub. I know you use Kiss Anime, but <gasps> how dare you out me as a dirty fucking pirate? What are you talking about? You can't do this to me. I mean, I know you kiss anime, mm, not that you well. use Kiss Anime. Yes, you know I've kissed so many things in my life. Oh yeah, man, you over I've there? I've got game. For you days. over there giving them good smooch? Yeah. The big ol' smooches. Yep. Floppy wet kisses. Sloppy wet kisses. No. Sloppy <laughs> and floppy. No. <laughs> Just floppy. Sloppy floppy woppy toppy. Ha! <laughs> I missed. Oh yeah, the episode was over like a minute ago. We just... <laughs> oh, is it still recording? <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah! Okay. okay. I'll, I'll hold. Oh, do you want to hold? You sure? Do you have an ending Jack bit? Do you have an ending bit? Can you yeah. come up with an ending bit? Can you do it? Yeah, watch. Okay. Tactical roll. <laughs> Tactical roll incoming. <laughs>